You're about to see how incredibly easy these two quilts are to make. Convex Illusions and Poppin' In are entirely strip pieced and are for the competent beginner quilter. Hi, I'm Kathleen Andrews with Quilt Art in Rochester Hills, Michigan. Welcome to our video series for our two most popular patterns, uh, Convex Illusions and Poppin' In. We're going to be talking about making both of the quilts. Uh, we're going to be focusing, uh, most of the demos are on the Convex Illusions. Uh, the only difference between the two is the very center. Uh, for the popping in, the center illusion goes in and basically you're reversing the strips. The narrow strips go to the center in both directions and the pattern addresses that. But all of the fabric cuts are the same uh, for both of the patterns. The shaded triangles are made the same, the corners are made the same, uh, so they are almost identical patterns. Uh, there's going to be three keys for success with this particular quilt. Um, the first one is going to be accuracy in your cutting. You want to take the time to be very, very accurate since this quilt is entirely strip pieced. Um, that is going to be one of your keys to success. Um, your next key to success is going to be a consistent seam allowance. It doesn't necessarily have to be a quarter inch, although that is highly suggested. Uh, consistency is incredibly important in strip piecing. That way, especially like when you're doing the center, you're getting things to line up properly in both directions. Uh, then the third is to follow the pressing directions. Uh, the pressing directions are in each one of the stages um, and that will be important so that you can put the whole thing together, most of it together without pins um, in the areas that have a lot of uh, matching intersections. So we'll be starting with the center area. There are a couple of videos for this. There's a total of nine videos in the uh, series. Uh, so we start with the center and basically the center is just two strip sets. One is dark, light, dark, and the other strip set is light, dark, light. And each strip set is this long. And so you'll just alternate between the two strip sets to make the checkerboard. And then that gets sewn together. Out here, the shaded triangles are made of four strip sets. And uh, we're making, they actually start out as squares. And then the squares are cut on the diagonal. We give it a little bit of a spin, turn it into a triangle, which is sewn back together in the center. And then we end up uh, with four of the dark triangles and then four of the light triangles out here. And then these outer corners, we're gonna start out as squares. Uh, it'll start out as a 16 inch square and then a border is added all the way around it. Then this border added all the way around it. We'll cut it on the diagonal and then you've got that makes two of the corners. You'll make two more for the four corners. When these are sewn on, this little piece here is just applique on top. So we're just sewing up to this corner, stop, start again over here, continue, and then this piece pops out on top and we'll either machine applique the edge down or do that by hand. So stay tuned. We have uh, a series of nine videos. Uh, and check on YouTube for all of them. And we're also gonna be doing one video that will be everything combined. Uh, so you could look for, for both of them. Thank you for joining us.